This is Gurpakwan Singh Panu, and I'm here right here in London. This is the Sikh separatist allegedly targeted in an assassination plot. The Financial Times reporting the U.S. thwarted an attempt to kill Gurpatwan Singh Panu and accuses India's government of playing a role. The White House says we are treating this issue with utmost seriousness and it has been raised by the U.S. government with the Indian government, including at the most senior levels. We have been working closely with uh, our allies, including the Americans, uh, since, uh, since the middle of the summer. In June, Canadian Sikh activist Hardeep Singh Nijjar was shot and killed in British Columbia. He knew Panu. In September, Trudeau made a serious claim in the House, saying Canadian security agencies were pursuing credible allegations. Of a potential link between agents of the government of India and the killing of a Canadian citizen, Hardeep Singh Nijjar. India has called Canada's allegations absurd. These allegations were raised by Prime Minister Trudeau with Prime Minister and Prime Minister rejected them. But in stark contrast, isn't rejecting the U.S. claims. India's government says it takes the allegations seriously and it's already being examined by relevant departments. I think it would be harder now for New Delhi to dismiss the allegations that Canada has made uh, in light of the allegations that the U.S. has shared with India. During a virtual G20 leader summit Wednesday with India's Prime Minister, Trudeau said he addressed it. I re-emphasize how important it is to abide by the rule of law and to engage constructively uh, with each other when we have uh, issues of concern. In a statement, Panu said this foiled attempt on his life is a threat to American sovereignty and he'll let the U.S. government respond to it. Ashley Burke, CBC News, Ottawa.